So, hello everyone. Good day. So for today's video, we have a guest here. So she's been in my channel like two times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's Maya, and if you don't know her, just visit her channel. So I will um, put her link in the description below so that you can watch also her videos and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> is it about um, how do you define a Filipina they said that Western woman and a Filipina is different so how do you define a Filipina a Filipina is um, wait <laughs> <laughs> and wait. it's like <laughs> UNA Miss Universe <laughs> okay you mean the difference between Western women and Filipina yeah uh, I think Filipinas are still more traditional like they still uh, wanting family like a traditional family where being a wife a mother and while the husband is working I think that's why lots of Western men prefer to come here in the Philippines to find a traditional Filipina because there is still lots of it here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than in the west yeah because you know a man will be a man <laughs> they yes. want to be a man in the house a provider yeah so that is the thing that they like but they're they're focusing in the career mm -hmm. you know? and also they don't want a uh, woman that is has a masculine energy that would be like their energy you know like um who can do everything and doesn't want to do a womb, uh, a wife you know job like uh, yeah, taking yeah. care of them taking care of the kids because men want to go home to a house that is you know, something that is clean that has a, ha, that has someone in there in their house yeah. and the, <laughs> the food is already there at the table yeah not only that <laughs> I, um it's for me it's not very sex i uh, this it's not very attractive for a woman to be like masculine like have this energy that i can do everything i want i can i can do what men can do yeah because if you are so what is the purpose of men <laughs> what yeah, is the purpose because if men? <laughs> you try to like do everything the men will feel like they are useless yeah they are useless and you know what men will be men so mm -hmm. they want to be you know they want to be look like stronger than women yes and if women think that they're stronger than men so they will feel useless mm -hmm. and nothing so you should value men <laughs> yes that is true yeah. So this question is from one of our subscribers. Mm -hmm. So since you are about to get married with a foreigner, hala <laughs> sana all. I will say sana all with you. <laughs> so since you are about to marry, and what if your foreign fiance will gonna say, I wanna bring you in US? Would you like to stay there? No, <laughs> since you love traveling, <laughs> I do love traveling. But if Yes, I would come, go to the U.S., visit, visit us. yes, do uh, some traveling in the U.S. But if you, if but if but if he will ask me to live there, then no, no, yes, why? Because it's so <laughs> expensive to live in the U.S. and also, I'm not sure if it's real in social media in uh, you know in what you see in the news about what's going on in in the west but i don't want to deal with it <laughs> you want to you don't want to deal with it it's yes i don't want to deal with racism or you know um um consumerism and whatever is going on in the west i'd rather stay here and live simple but yeah. if you uh, but if he will ask me to you know yeah, travel would you go i will go but what if he were gonna say yeah. let's stay in america then no <laughs> <laughs> i would say no so he yes because you know but philippines is a great choice to live yes i like it here yeah. i like simple life yeah, so what if he will gonna say let's travel to another country staying like one year 
like especially in Vietnam to stay in Vietnam would you would you be okay yes I'm okay with it because I like Vietnam there's actually a city in Vietnam that I like the Nang it's like um it's like Dumaguete but with better infrastructure all oh, nice one the problem here is the infrastructure also yes also the roadway yeah. there are so many um, it's bumpy and potholes mm -hmm. that's our big problem yeah that's why and also it's more expensive here too so we are planning actually to do that during summers when Nora my daughter is not in school mm -hmm. so we could bring her uh, we'll spend like summers in there so if you choose Vietnam and Thailand, would you choose Vietnam or Thailand? Well, I'm not, I'm, I cannot say because I haven't traveled the whole Thailand. I've never been to Phuket. I've heard Phuket is nice. I've heard uh -huh. uh, some places in Thailand are nicer than Bangkok. Yeah. So, but Vietnam, Da Nang, Da Lat is a nice choice, nice place to, to mm. stay. Nice one. So here, since you you almost get married to your partner, and you know, where you want to get married? Like, um, you want to go travel another country to do your wedding ceremony, or just here in the Philippines? Uh, I think here in the Philippines is better. Yeah. With, um, it's just a simple or a big wedding. Well, uh, it actually changed before. We like big wedding. We like big wedding, mm -hmm. but we change it. To be just like smaller wedding with just very close friends and family oh yeah, yeah. because now we need to be practical right yes. since prices are getting you know it's rising up yes it is not like you have a foreigner you need to have a bongacious or you know a big wedding because mm -hmm. they can provide but it's not all about like that you need to be more practical in terms of money because yes, they work true. that hard for, yeah so it's okay to have a simple wedding yeah. with a big love in it. <laughs> yes, because usually if you have big wedding, most of the people that comes to your wedding, you didn't know you like you invite friends that you're not close, but just friends. They're not there for you actually. They're just there to yeah. to look good and eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah. then go. <laughs> yes, then go away. And so, I've seen a lot of that happening here in weddings. In weddings so it's better to have close friends and family yeah yeah I will I love that too mm -hmm. I love a simple one without no issues mm -hmm. because those visitors will gonna make issues oh what kind of wedding that, that she have it's the food I don't like the food something like that yeah, that is yeah. happening here in the Philippines a lot of time so yeah, yeah. It's better to have a family that will appreciate the wedding. Yes. It's better to invite someone that will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we will be ending this video and thank you so much, Maya, for you know for allowing me to interview you today. Thank and you. It's all about me. the traveling, like um, Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines. What would you choose? So if you little, if you have a little like financially not financially but expenses for traveling then you go to Vietnam it's a better place for you to go and it's yeah. it is safe in Vietnam it's safe it's safe like Philippines yeah actually I saw a lot of young Philipp ah, young sorry I see a lot of young Vietnamese people that would walk at night mm -hmm. I don't I'm not sure about other city like Ho Chi Minh because I was told once that you cannot walk in Ho Chi Minh alone at mm -hmm. night in a specific time and you can walk alone I uh, you can walk with your phone out because they will snatch it but oh. yeah but in the lot we're like walking but this anytime. usually happen in the in the city big city yeah like, I think so snatch, like in Cebu yeah. Yeah. I think Vietnam is cheaper than the Philippines but the Philippines has more welcoming people yeah 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 more so friends. is there any bars in um, Vietnam what do you mean bars bar like bar I you mean bar I don't know. I've never been one, but I've, I think there there is. But in Thailand, there's much more. Lots, lots of it. <laughs> Thailand is more open. Yeah, more open. Oh, yeah. There's so many also lady boys that mm -hmm. are welcoming you. <laughs> yes, that's why most people, most foreigners would choose Philippines and Thailand because this one it's more fun. <laughs> yes, these countries are more open to foreigners. Actually, Vietnamese women, I've I've heard about this. Uh, a Vietnamese, uh, a foreigner, Gio's friend, 
He told us that Vietnamese girls are not actually interested with foreigners. They don't prefer dating foreigners. They would, oh. they don't consider it. So I think that's why most of the foreigners would not like to go to Vietnam. Maybe just for a visit. All right. So thank you so much for that, uh, you. you know, addition information about <laughs> your traveling. So thank you so much, everyone. And if you don't know about her, just subscribe to her channel. I will put her link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned because I have so many videos coming. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Thank you.